Hey y'all, I'm weirdly happy today, and I'm weirdly happy to be filming this video, which is strange to me because I was having a really rough week. Like, the beginning of this week was terrible, and I could see myself starting to slip back into these old habits that I had when my depression got really bad, which I'll talk about that a little bit more. But it's crazy because yesterday I had this, like, revelation. I don't know what the fuck happened, but I had this, like, revelation, and I just realized how much progress I've already made over the last, like, couple of months dealing with my depression, overcoming my depression, and I'm like so fucking proud of myself. So I wanted to make this video. I tweeted yesterday and in the tweet was four pictures and two of them were pictures from, I wanna say like six or seven months ago, last summer. And then two of the other pictures were from, I mean yesterday and then one was like maybe a week ago. If you didn't see it, I'll post the tweet right here, but I'm gonna talk about it more and I'll show you guys the pictures and I'll show you more pictures. But I was going through old photos and I was just looking through my memories because I like to do that sometimes. I like to look at the trips that I've been on and pictures from trips I've been on. And I stumbled across these pictures from when I went to Miami. And I found the one picture, this picture right here, and I, was so shocked when I saw it because I am like literally skin and bones. And if you didn't watch my video from the beginning of the year, um, 2018 was toxic. I talked about how I struggled a lot last year with my depression and my mental illness pretty much took over my life. And I had problems eating at some points because I was so depressed that even eating seemed like the biggest hassle to me. And so I would eat, but I wouldn't eat right. So I would basically be eating shit all the time. I would eat junk food or I would eat snacks. Just stuff that was easy for me. Stuff that I could just grab and sit down and eat. Not things I would have to prepare or anything like that. Sometimes even going to get fast food was like too much for me and I would get overwhelmed and I would just cry even thinking about it. So basically in this video, I'm sorry I haven't even said this yet. In this video I kind of wanted to talk about how I overcame that and what I'm doing now to be healthier and happier. So much happier, you guys. I made a list for myself yesterday because I knew I would forget some things because I just have a bad memory. So I wrote down just the different things that I've done and I want to just talk about them with you guys. Um, the reason I'm making this video is because I had a lot of people responding to that tweet asking me what I did, how I overcame it, how I managed to gain the weight back. I think at my lowest point, um, this is embarrassing to say, and I, I don't like saying this because it's like really sad. I think at my lowest weight, I was probably 90 pounds, um, if even that. And right now, I think I'm sitting at around 110, which I'm still underweight, and I know that, and I'm still very small, especially for my height. I'm 5'7", I think. I don't know. My doctor told me I was 5'6", but there's no fucking way I'm 5'6". I'm way taller than that, so I think I'm 5'7", 5'8". I don't know. I also haven't been to the doctor in years, so the chances of me growing are very high. And so, right now, I'm at 110 pounds. Actually, I might be a little bit more now. I haven't weighed myself in, like, a week or two maybe. So I might be even more, I don't know. And honestly, the most I've ever weighed, I think is like 115, 120. So I'm working to like get up there and get past that. I'm naturally skinny. I've always been naturally skinny, but last year it got to a point where it just, it wasn't natural anymore and it was not healthy. I think the craziest part to me too is that I didn't even notice. Like I had no idea at the time how unhealthy I looked. And when people would point it out, I was like, I'm just fucking skinny. Like what? what is the issue here? I'm just naturally skinny. I was born this way, I've always been skinny. But then looking at the pictures now, or even like, I mean, a couple months ago, not at the time where I took these photos, but just like a couple months ago, I knew I was starting to have a problem. But especially looking at them now, Oh my fucking God. I was on the phone with Kayla yesterday and she took both of those pictures. And she was saying, she was like, wait, the second picture is like insane, this picture right here. And I was like, yeah, you took that. And she was like, I fucking took that. She's like, I didn't even notice. She's like, I didn't, I didn't realize at all that there was a problem. So now let's get into the shit that I'm doing recently to make me feel a lot better. And I actually feel really energized. And that's actually saying a lot for me because I never feel energized. I am always tired, always. And it's because I sleep too much and I'm not eating well and I'm not taking care of myself. So I'm always tired. So whenever I complain about being tired, it's my own fault. And I shouldn't complain about it, but I do. So recently I've been trying to do a lot to overcome that because I do struggle a lot with sleeping getting myself up in the morning that's like the biggest thing for me other than eating sorry I shouldn't say other than eating because I was eating just not full meals and I wasn't eating what I should I am a night owl and I love staying up late but for me that just doesn't work especially with my job and my schedule my job is YouTube and streaming so in order for that to work out for me I need to be up early so that I can film and do my YouTube shit in the morning because I can't film at night. I use natural light. I hate artificial lighting and I don't want to have to use it. I used it back when I lived with my parents and I would film at three o'clock in the morning. I don't want to have to go back to that life ever because it fucking sucked. I hated having to stay up until two or three in the morning filming because that's the last thing I want to do. And then I stream most days at 5 p.m. other than the 
weekends I stream earlier than that, which fucks me over even more if I'm waking up late. So I've been trying to get in a routine where I go to bed or at least I'm laying down by like 10 p.m. And then I usually fall asleep around midnight and then I'll wake myself up. My plan was to wake up at nine every day. That hasn't been working. I've been waking up at 10. Actually, wait, let me go through my goals list with you guys. This is the kind of stuff that I have to do and it might be lame. I have to write these things down for myself because if I don't, I can just so easily forget that these are things that I wanted to accomplish or I can like pretend like I forgot. So this was the plan that I had for myself and then I modified it a little bit because I realized that some of it just wasn't realistic. So I wanted to wake up at 9 a.m. I wanted to go on a walk or a run because I do like running and I used to do that every single morning. I would wake up and I would go for a run and I would feel amazing afterwards. I would come home, I would shower, I would eat breakfast and I would just feel awake for the day. When I wake up and I just immediately get on my computer, I'm just fucking tired. And I just, I don't want to have to do that anymore. I want to be able to get up and go out and do shit with my day. Because before when I was waking up at noon, I would have like three hours to get work done before I had to get ready to stream. So I would wake up, I would get on my computer, I would edit for as long as I could before I had to get ready. I wouldn't eat anything. I would get ready for my stream, eat something really quickly, stream for five hours, and then I would end at 10 p.m. and I'd be starving, so I would go get fast food or something. And then I would go to bed, or I would play video games until 5 o'clock in the morning, and then I would do the same shit over and over again. And days were just going by so quickly because I was so rushed every day and I had so much to do every day. I was never leaving my apartment and it was really depressing. So again, this is what I wanted to do for myself. So wake up at 9, go on a walk or a run, and then I would eat breakfast. Can you not lock your car? I'm sorry. Get your shit stolen. I'm filming a video. At 10, I would have breakfast. At 10.30, I would edit or film or whatever. Whatever I had to do for that day and then I put 11 or 12 like I didn't just eat breakfast an hour ago 11 or 12 I would eat lunch I was just writing this out like really fast because I was like I need to plan out when I'm eating because if I don't I'm scared that I'm not gonna eat so 11 or 12 I put lunch and then keep working and then get ready whatever I needed to so whether I was filming that day like if I was filming that day I would get ready earlier obviously so I could film if I wasn't filming I would usually get ready around 3 3 30 4 o'clock I would eat an early dinner so I would eat something small before I had to stream stream at 5 and then after the stream I would eat dinner like an actual dinner like a good portion size dinner this did not work out 100% I've modified it like I said a little bit so I usually wake up around 10 and this is okay this pisses me off about myself because this morning I woke up at 7 by myself and I was so awake and I'm like okay I could totally get up right now and just like go on with my day I didn't get up because I fucking suck so I slept in until 10 the police this is the sound of the bodies. What was I saying? So I woke up at 10 and I was kind of tired, but I forced myself to get up. Normally, if I'm still tired, I'll stay in bed until like noon, which again, fucks me over. So I've been getting up around 10 every morning and then I started doing Zumba. I know this is really fucking lame, but I'm gonna tell you about it because I actually really like it. It's really cold right now and I just don't think I can bring myself to go on a run because I'm already out of shape and I haven't been on a run in a long time. And when it's cold, I run out of breath faster and I can't breathe and it's miserable and I don't wanna hate running. I could go on a walk, but it's not the same and I'm not really getting a workout in, or at least I don't feel like I am. So I started doing Zumba because I could do that at home and I have this big living room area. So I'm like, I'm just gonna get fucking down and I'm gonna fucking dance. So I just look up on YouTube Zumba and it's been hard because again, I'm really out of shape. So I've only been lasting like 20 minutes like working out every day but it's a start and I only started doing this like a couple days ago but I've done it every morning since so it's becoming a routine for me and that's something that's really important because if something's not a routine it's hard for me to fit it into my day because I just feel like I don't have time to do this. Like my day is so full, even when it's not, that if I don't do this consistently every day, I feel like it's a hassle. So I feel like if I just throw something into my day that I don't normally do, I'm gonna run out of time for the things that I have to do. But that's stupid, but that's how my brain works. So I've been doing that every day and I feel really good about that. So I'll wake up and that's the first thing I do in the morning is work out and do my fucking Zumba. I love it. It's so much fun. I'm awful at it and I literally cannot dance to save my life, but it's actually a lot of fun. I'm not gonna lie, but I die. I literally am dying the entire time. I'm just glad that I'm alone and I'm glad that nobody can see me do this shit, but it's pretty fun. I also feel like it's prepping me for being a mom. I wanna be a mom. So I'm just like, okay, I gotta start my Zumba shit early so that when I'm a mom and do Zumba, it's normal. And I'll be good at it. My kids will be like, holy shit, my mom is a Zumba master. I also wanna try the Pure Bar. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. It's basically like working out at a ballet bar. And I did ballet for like, I don't know, 10 years. And I liked it, I guess, kind of. I was like forced to do it, but I didn't hate it. And so I kind of want to try it because it's like these little workouts. I, I don't know, I've never done it before, but it kind of sounds cool. But I think I'm gonna wait till I 
am not dying after four seconds of Zumba before I do that with real people. And then when it gets warmer out, I'll probably start going on runs again. I hate going to the gym. I'm not a gym person. I don't like working out around other people because I get really self-conscious and I know that that's stupid, but I just can't really help that. I don't know what I'm doing at the gym and I would end up on the treadmill anyways, so I might as well just go for a run outside. I like running outside. I like going on hikes and that kind of stuff. And then right after I work out, I have my breakfast and I was going to go through and show you guys how I make all of my different meals or how I meal prep because that's what I've done a lot too is like meal prepping and planning so I always have something but I have so much food made right now and I don't want anything to go to waste so I'm just going to explain it to you because it's really easy to explain. I'm not very good at cooking and I get frustrated really easily because I'm not good at cooking but all of these recipes are really easy to follow and they're really good and I really like them and it helps me eat full like big good meals every day. For breakfast I'll usually just have like avocado toast and eggs. I was really obsessed with fried eggs before so I would eat like two slices of avocado toast and then I would toast another Another piece of bread and put cheese on it and then just put two fried eggs on top and eat it like that but I got kind of bored with that so the last couple days I've been scrambling the eggs and then adding slices of chicken to it like I have like this deli meat chicken and I'll just pull it apart and put it in and then I'll add hot sauce on top of it and then I'll also have a slice of avocado toast I used to make the scrambled eggs with the chicken and hot sauce and put spinach in it and that was really good too but I don't have spinach right now I need to go to the store actually but I just try to mix it up a little bit but for the most part my breakfast stays the same. It's like eggs and avocado toast, but I just mix up the eggs a little bit. I've been eating breakfast around like, I want to say 1030. So then probably around 12 or 1, that's when I'll have lunch. Right now I've been making a lot of random dishes with chicken and I get all my groceries from Target. So I'll go to Target and I'll get chicken just like I don't know how to explain it. I'll get like the sliced chicken and then I'll dice it myself and I actually cook the chicken in my crock pot, which is like another very mom-like thing, but I love the chicken in the crock pot. It's really good. It sounds like a song, like a country song, the chicken in the crock pot, but I'll dice up the chicken. I'll put it in my crock pot for six hours on low. And I know that seems like a really long time and it seems really unnecessary when you could just make it like in the oven or on the stove, but I don't know how to do that and I'm scared of fucking up and getting sick. I tried to make myself burgers one time and I'm pretty sure it was raw and I literally got knocked I'm like fuck this I'm never cooking for myself ever again but when it's in the crock pot it's really easy and I can forget about it so I can just put it in there and I can work for six hours and then I come back and it's just done and it's really good so I like it but I'll put it in the crock pot by itself and I'll add like garlic salt salt and pepper whatever seasoning you want and then leave it like I said for six hours right now I'm really liking wraps so I'll take the chicken and I'll heat it up like I just put it in a Tupperware once it's done and then I just I can heat it up so I'll get a tortilla and I'll put the chicken and then I'll add cheese lettuce mayonnaise like whatever you like basically in a wrap and then I'll also have sides because I was really bad at doing this before I was really bad at having sides of things I would have like a sandwich that had like a piece of meat piece of cheese and that was it so I have pasta made right now and I have green beans so I'll heat up the two sides and then I'll have my wrap and then I'll try to finish as much as possible I make myself bigger portions because I want to grow my stomach I shrunk my stomach so much when I was barely eating before and so that's something that I have to work on but I never want to eat to the point where I feel sick like I don't want to push my body to that point so I try to eat a little bit more every time but I'm not trying to binge like I'm not trying to binge eat so that I gain weight like, it's just not healthy I can pretty much eat the entire thing now because I have grown my stomach and then I'll eat dinner around five or six just a couple hours later and I'll usually have something similar I think last night what did I have last night I think I had pizza because I ordered a pizza the other day so I just had leftovers but this is kind of weird because it's like a weird combination I didn't want to just eat the pizza because oh Hello. I didn't want to just eat the pizza because I thought that that wasn't good enough and I wanted some like nutrition in there, I guess. I don't know. I don't know anything about food, by the way, like calories and the eating, right? I'm just literally making things that will like fill me up things that I like. So I made a side of pasta and a side of green beans and then I had the pizza as well. I know it's a weird combination, but I didn't want to like get off track already. I know that that's weird. But I also really like to make tacos. That's really easy. You just buy ground beef and then you add the taco seasoning after it's cooked. Make that on the stove. And then with that, I'll either make tacos, like I said, or I like to make chipotle bowls. So I'll make rice and I'll add the meat. I'll add cheese, sour cream, whatever you like, basically, like in your chipotle bowl, on corn, beans, whatever the fuck. And then I like to eat it with um, tortilla chips. That's really good. Or I like to make taco salad, which is kind of, I guess, similar to the chipotle bowl, but instead of the rice, I do 
do spinach. You could do salad mix, but I like spinach, so I like to eat a lot of spinach. You could also use the chicken for those. So sometimes what I do when I make the chicken in the crock pot, when it's all done, I'll split it in two, and then I'll leave half of it how it is, just like the regular chicken, and then the other half I'll add taco seasoning, so what I would add to the ground beef. I'll add the taco seasoning to that, so it's like a Mexican chicken. And then I can add that to the chipotle bowls, or I can make taco salad with that, or it's honestly like really good by itself too. Or you can put it in tacos. Just do whatever the fuck you want with the chicken. But those are like the two sources of meat that I like the most. I, I'm not like the biggest meat person. Like I'm not just gonna sit down and have a whole fucking steak. I just, I don't like that. I have to have my meat mixed in with something. I know that that might be kind of weird or maybe sound weird, but I don't like just sitting there eating a whole fucking chicken breast. It's just not good to me. And when I do, I just drown it in ketchup anyway. So I'm like, I might as well have fun with my meals and enjoy what I'm eating and not just force myself to eat like 10 chicken breasts in the course of a week. Like I, I just don't want to do that. And I'll cheat sometimes. Like I said, I got pizza the other night or if I want Chick-fil-A, I'll go get Chick-fil-A. But I'm trying to do that less and less, mainly because I can save money by not doing that. And I don't want to get out of the habit of cooking for myself. And so when I make this food, I mean, it'll last me a pretty long time. It'll last me like a week. So I take one day out of my week and I'll prep like my chicken, which is so easy because I just leave it for six hours. I'll make taco meat. I'll make a, a huge thing of rice so that I could just like reheat it up. I just try to make everything so that all I have to do is heat it up and then I'm done. It's not like I have to cook every day. I think the only thing I have to cook consistently every day is my breakfast. And I don't even mind doing that because it takes like five fucking minutes to make some eggs and to toast a piece of bread. And so I've been doing really good with that. Um, I think I still struggle though because there are times where I feel like I'm not eating enough. So if I'm not that hungry for breakfast and I can't finish my breakfast, I get kind of mad at myself and I'm thinking that I'm falling back you know, into my old ways and I'm just not eating as much. And I think I have to work on that still because sometimes you're just not hungry and sometimes you just don't need as much food at that moment. And I need to stop being so hard on myself for something that it's, it's so insignificant. I get into my head a lot and I start to feel like I'm failing a lot and when I do something really small. Like for example, last night I was watching a movie and I was kind of hungry, but I wasn't hungry enough to eat like a full meal. I had just eaten dinner like maybe an hour before, but I was kind of hungry. So I wanted to make myself a snack. And lately I've been really obsessed with apples and Nutella. And I know that sounds probably nasty, but it's really good. It's like apples and chocolate. It's really good. I'm a big fan of caramel apples and this is just as good. So I diced up half an apple because I knew that I most likely wouldn't eat the whole thing. And then I got my jar of Nutella and I laid down and I was just going to watch a movie. And so I was eating it. And after like four or five bites, I was full and I didn't want it anymore. And I got mad at myself and I was thinking like why can't you just eat the rest of this it's not that hard but then every time I would take another bite I'm like I'm just like not hungry and I eat it really fast because I think okay I just have to eat this whole thing and then I'm okay and I need to get out of that mindset that I need to eat a lot of food really quickly all the time because it's not healthy and so I try to sit back and remember everything I ate for the day and remember that I've already made so much progress and I'm gonna continue to make more progress. And so I just can't be mad at myself if I'm not fucking hungry for two seconds. Like it's not the end of the world and I'm not gonna lose everything that I've gained just because I don't wanna eat four bites of an apple. So that's definitely something that I still struggle with and I'm working on that. I'm just trying to work on not getting into my own head about the smallest things. As for my work schedule, um, this week I haven't really worked that much because like I said, I had a really rough time at the beginning of the week and I got kind of nervous to fall back into my old habits of sleeping in really late and not eating like I should. There were a couple days where I was sleeping until noon because I just wasn't able to fall asleep because I was having really bad nights and I wasn't going to bed until 4 a.m. So I decided to take a break from streaming and filming so that I could get back on schedule. And so far it's been really nice. I miss streaming and I wanted to film. That's why I'm filming this video like during my break. But it was nice to take a step back and realize, okay, you're already fucking up. You're not doing this. And I'm really proud of myself for stopping myself before I got too far behind and acknowledging that I was kind of taking a step backwards. It was a very well needed break in my opinion. I think I only missed one upload this week, but I uploaded four times last week. So I was kind of like, eh, it kind of balances out. Not that my silent video really counts as an upload, but I was trying to make myself feel better, but I only missed one video, so that was okay. I missed a couple streams, but I feel like that's okay as well. I feel like sometimes you do just have to take a step back and focus on yourself before you focus on work or other people. I think my only goal right now is to be consistent with the new schedule that I have. I feel really good about it. I'm kind of nervous because I do have to implement my streaming schedule and my editing and filming and all that stuff into this routine because over the last couple days, I haven't. But I have had a lot of downtime, so I'm not necessarily worried about that. Like I've been watching a lot of movies and streams and stuff like that. So I'm not worried that I'm going to have like no time in my day to do any of this, but I get really overwhelmed really easily. So I just have to work on that as well. I had a couple people asking me how I managed to make this change because they, 
I don't even live near an airport. That's what I don't understand. But I had a lot of people tell me that they just get full really quickly and they're just not hungry. And I had the same problem because I did shrink my stomach, like I said. So there were points where I would, you know, get like a meal at a restaurant and I would have four bites and I would be so full. I felt like I was going to throw up. I mean, but honestly, you just have to train your body to eat bigger portions and eat more. I know that sounds weird, but it's kind of like... And this is a weird thing to compare it to, a very strange thing. But like with my hair, for example. People ask me all the time how my hair doesn't get greasy when I don't wash it. But you just have to train your hair. So it's like you don't wash your hair for three days and then you can wash it. And then maybe the next week don't wash your hair for four days and then you can wash it. I know that might be gross, whatever. I wash my hair like once a week. But it's something like that. So for every meal, maybe just try to eat a little bit more. Kind of like I said before, I'll eat a meal and when I'm full, I'll eat a little bit more just so my stomach grows and then that becomes my norm. So then the next meal, I'll eat a little bit more than that. So that becomes my norm. So you just have to force yourself almost to eat a little bit, not binge and don't make yourself feel sick, but you do have to try to grow your stomach because when you're not eating or you're eating such small portions, you're gonna shrink that boy up. Depression is really hard to deal with and it affects all of us in different ways. And to anybody who's struggling right now, just know that things really do get better. And I know that people say that all the time and I know it might not mean that much and you might not know who I am and so it just, it doesn't fucking matter to you, but it really does get better. But you will have to put an effort and things aren't just going to miraculously get better. So for me, I have to put in the effort every single day to remember to, you know, eat these meals and work out and get myself up and get myself working because if I go back to this routine of staying up really late, sleeping in really late, not eating and being miserable every time I try to even leave my apartment, I'm not gonna get better. And sometimes it's really hard to accept the things that are making you sad because you just don't wanna really believe that those things led to, I guess, your current state. I would stay up until four o'clock in the morning playing video games and I loved doing that because it made me really happy. But at the end of the day, it was leading me to a lot more problems. So that is something that I needed to cut out. And it's not to say that I can't play video games if I wanna play video games. You know, I can play during the day or I can play after my stream for a little bit but I just can't go back to playing for eight hours a day. It's just not realistic. I also want to say this, and I've said this before, don't be afraid to ask for help. If you feel like you've lost control and you feel like you don't know how to get on the right track, you can talk to somebody. You don't have to figure this out on your own. There are so many people who care about you and love you and will help you try to figure out what's wrong and how to fix it. And I know it's really easy to feel like, you know, I'm the only one feeling this way, but you're never alone and you'll never be alone. I hope that this was helpful for those of you who struggle with the same things that I do. Again, I had a lot of people tweeting at me and DMing me asking how I managed to make the change and how I started gaining the weight back. And this is everything that I've done so far. And I know that I have a lot of work to do. I know that I'm still underweight and I still wanna gain weight. But the fact that I've gone from like literally skin and bones to where I am now is already so motivating for me because I know what I'm capable of now. I know that I can keep going with this and I can be even healthier. Like I could be at my healthiest state, which is so crazy to me. But I love you guys. Thank you so much to everybody who has been there for me. Thank you to all of my friends for always supporting me. Thank you all of you for being here like every week. It's crazy to me that I have an audience and it'll always be crazy to me. And I really hope that I can help somebody or I don't know, even like helping one person would be fucking awesome. I know how hard this is, I know how hard this battle is, but we can do it and I know that we can. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to go through as many comments as I can and respond if I missed anything or anything like that. If you guys want to see a video of me making all the meals, I mean, it's really easy and I basically explained everything to you probably the best that I could, but if you wanna see that, I guess, let me know. I, like I said, I'm not good at cooking, so it's not gonna be a great video, but I could try. But I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.